Welcome back. We are very fortunate to have with us a panel of experts live by remote satellite. Professor Eliezer from Jerusalem University, Dr. Mordecai with the Restorative Foundation, Dr. Olympias with the Hebrew Historical Institute, and Rabbi Phineas, noted Pharisee and director of the Rabbinical School. Each of our guests are experts in historical and scriptural matters. Thank you all for joining us. Professor Eliezer, can you shed some light on the events occurring at the moment? Well, Rachel, questions were asked when the Eastern astronomers appeared in Jerusalem this week and met with King Herod. Many of the scholars in the city considered the appearance of the star simply a fluke of nature. Others, like myself, since there was more to it than that especially with the recent events in Bethlehem. I have searched the scriptures and I have found that there's numerous parallels from the books of the prophets. For instance, in Numbers it states, a star shall come forth out of Jacob. King David was a descendant of Jacob and Bethlehem is the city of David. So there we have the first correlation. I see. Dr. Mordecai, what is your take on the situation? Professor Eliezer is correct. There are many correlations in the ancient scriptures to give us some insights into this most unusual event. It was said by the prophet Micah, But you, O Bethlehem, who are little among the clans of Judah, from you shall come forth for me, one who is to be the ruler of Israel. And one more piece of evidence that this is not just a coincidence. Jeremiah spoke of the days when the Lord God said, I will raise up from David a righteous branch, and he shall reign as king. Very compelling evidence, Dr. Mordecai. Dr. Olympias, what is the consensus in your area of expertise? What I find interesting is the report from the shepherds in the countryside outside of Bethlehem. This statement from long ago holds much more significance. Ezekiel the prophet reported, The Lord God said, I will set up over them one shepherd, and he shall feed them and be their shepherd. To some, these events may seem unrelated, but in my humble opinion, I believe there needs to be a great deal more scrutiny given to the situation before any arbitrary decisions are made. And Rabbi Phineas, can you reply to these statements? I certainly can. My learned associates are making too much of these minor incidents. All this Messiah and star nonsense is complete rubbish. Let's first address the issue of the star and the visitors from the east. There have been other astronomical events that were not given this type of attention. We are far from understanding such events. And to conclude that this particular incident announces the coming of the Messiah is preposterous. Simply because Zoroastrian astronomers show up is no reason to make that kind of conclusion. Secondly, the chosen one will be a king, not a mere peasant that would associate with common shepherds. The scripture stated, one who is to be ruler of Israel and he shall reign as king. Doesn't sound like a commoner to me. You use all these scriptures as the basis for your arguments, yet you are twisting the meaning to your advantage. Such irresponsible conclusions are absurd. Dr. Olympias is correct in one aspect. We cannot make a truly informed decision until all the facts are in. Thank you all for your wisdom and scholarly insights on this matter. Excuse me, Rachel. We have some breaking news. It seems that Eunice has just arrived at the scene. What can you tell us? Levi, this is one of the most unusual sights I have ever witnessed. We are standing here at a small stable at the edge of the village. There are a man and woman with a newborn inside. There seems to be a peacefulness surrounding the stable. Even the animals are quiet, almost as if they don't want to wake the baby. The shepherds are very quietly gathered around to see the baby. Eunice, we just spoke with Gideon, who is with some wise men traveling from the east. Can you tell us if they have arrived yet? Yes, Levi, they have just arrived. But I should point out, 
They are wise women, and it looks like they are each carrying a package of some sort. They are walking towards the child, bowing to him, and bestowing their gifts on this small infant. This is truly amazing. Levi, Gideon here, is truly amazing here in this humble little stable. Among the animals and the hay is the newborn baby. They are common shepherds and obvious wealthy learned women. This is truly an extraordinary event. Incredible, Gideon. This must be the Messiah. This can be the only explanation. We are blessed to be a part of this occurrence and make you, our viewers, a part of history. This has been Rachel. And I'm Levi with Jerusalem 7, your leading source for the news shaping your life. From everyone here, thank you. And good night. Good night. Thank you.